you showed up on, on Tupac's uh, All Eyes on Me album. Yes, sir. Did you actually know Tupac before that? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> and, Absolutely and that not. song wasn't even supposed to be a Tupac song. No, it's not. It was supposed to be a Daz record. That's why we went over there. And uh, me and Meth was just in L.A. Uh, you know, Corrupt and Daz been our dudes for over, been our homies for over 15 years. And uh, they asked us to jump on the record. And it was for Daz's album. And uh, next thing you know, we heard the record come out on Tupac album. And just from talking to Daz, you know, the story was, you know, Tupac had just came home. And it was like, you know what, all new material, all hot material, you know, Pac needed. And uh, he, I guess Pac heard the record. He was like, wow, all right, we're all ready, man. All these niggas on it. Yeah, let me jump. I need this. So, I, I mean, you know, anybody would have did the same thing. It would probably work bigger for Tupac than it did on Daz and them album anyway. But we originally did it for Daz, Corrupt. It was a great record, too. Like, I feel like what Tupac did on that record was amazing. Yeah. That whole album, All Eyes On Me album, was dope. Fucking dope. So did you, did you actually meet Tupac after that? Yeah, I met seen Tupac a couple of times and shit. <laughs> I seen him a couple of times. I seen him with Keith Murray one time. Keith Murray got a story on it. I was there at that story, but I'm not going to tell that story. I, you know, that story stays sealed with me forever. Keith Murray talked about the whole situation with Tupac a few times. Me and Tupac never had a altercation. Never squared up or anything? Nah, we had a, he asked me about an issue about the record I shot you. And he just was asking like, yo, his homeboy asked me. He, Tupac didn't ask me, but then Tupac walked over after his homeboy asked me, what are we talking about in the record? Nah, we're not talking about you. Shook hands, that was it. But the people on the video that shot it, we was at the Underground Hip Hop Awards. Mm -hmm. And I was just saying the fact that niggas ain't underground. Niggas don't know nothing about underground. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was talking about the Tupac incident when we had that little face-to-face uh, -face confrontation. That's underground, you know what I'm saying? These underground dudes don't have confrontation nowadays. You know what I'm saying? You go, you talk, I see online, they talk about each other on Twitter or whatever, they beef, and then they piece it out at the end. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the era where you talk about me, we're gonna see each other and something's gonna happen. I was right there because I'm a rider. And if my boy in trouble or whatever, I don't care what coast we on, we banging out. And uh, it got close to that situation. But then, I, you know, that, <laughs> that's it. That's all I'm saying, man. But, you know, b besides that, I ran to a pop, pop uh, on, a, on a couple of uh, occasions. And plus that was Tretch Boy. And he was always in Jersey. So, uh, and he always respected. He always respected me. When I seen him, he was just like, oh, always gave me respect and I always gave him respect. And uh, even I heard in an interview where he was, you know, he mentioned my name in an interview where he was like, because, you know, I was a new fresh nigga. But then again, my album reached out on the West Coast a lot because of how I, you know, was built from Ice Cube or whatever. The album it counted was that kind of platform. But my album reached out to the West Coast. They used to think I was a West Coast nigga. Um, but Pop mentioned me in the interview was like, you know, we got to get these dudes, you know, from out here, like real so-and-so red man, and we need to get everybody together and utilize. You got to understand, Pac was talking about, you know, you know, you, you know, uh, uh, being, being, you know, utilizing each other to come as one way back then before he started coming out with songs and records. And even when he started at an early age, he was talking about the, 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 the rising of, our culture as black people. So he, he, you know, he was always on his job, man. Well, Tupac was going to do a, an album called One Nation. Now, were you, were you supposed to be part of that? I don't know, but he probably would have called me. He probably would have. I, I would have been right there, too. Yep. Would have been right there at that time. 